lot has been said regarding the new Apple tracker, that's this little thingy right here, uh, called the AirTag. As soon as it came out, I started looking along with I'm sure many of you for a wallet to properly incorporate it so that you could carry it the way it should be carried. Many are rushing to get it done, but the Frenchie company right here had theirs developed before it was even released. I've got it in my hot little hands here, so let's get into it. As we know, one of the most impressive things about uh, the wallets we get from a Frenchie company is how we start. This box opening experience is really kind of cool no matter how many times you do it. So you flip the two open, flip the top. Oh look, we have instructions here. But then it starts to do this. Oh, look at that. It just presents it to you with a nice description here about the wallet. So let's uh, pull this out, set this aside. And it really means a lot when people put, companies put attention into their packaging. When it's just slapped into a plastic bag, it kind of lacks a sense of creativity or that experience that you get. Tissue paper is what we have. And of course there's a magnet involved. See that? All of the Frenchie wallets have magnets and we've talked about the benefits or the detractions from that and the potential dangers. But uh, the Frenchie company has done that well. And if we look at the basic wallet itself, you can see that it is, it just performs really well over time. One of my favorites and as a trifold, it's just always been very, very small. It's just, it's just amazing what they've been able to do in this footprint for a full trifold. And then of course we have our card slots up in here. And this is where the air tag goes. We'll look at that a little bit closer as we get into the features. So let's get into the feature review of the Frenchie Speed Card Mini air tag wallet. Of course, the thing that makes this wallet stand out is our little air tag holder here in the front of the wallet. So it doesn't interfere with the rest of the wallet, which we see here, which is we open this and as we open it, we're now getting into cash. You have the ability to grab cash and pull them out without pulling the whole stack out if you'd like. And of course you put cash behind here, lays across here. And then here's the entry point for the air tag itself. And if we get into the top, we have two main uh, slots, card slots. And the thing that makes the capacity of this wonderful, I mean, you can get six cards in each of these is that it's not sewn on the bottom. So it allows it to expand as you get more cards in there, which is really quite nice. And that is a quick review of the features of the Frenchie Company Speed Card Mini AirTag Wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. And you know, I might put that AirTag in. All right, so we found this little puck that actually is the placeholder in where the AirTag would go. The thought on this is that if you don't have an AirTag in there, this takes its place. All right, you saw what I did there. I stuffed it. Actually, I didn't. Each of these slots can hold six cards. I put four in each of them, as well as the air tag and then all that cash. That is the bundle of cash that we use right here. All the currencies, even up to the 100 euro, all works wonderful. No issues there. But it did end up with a pretty fat wallet of 1.1 inches. Now, from a cash perspective, again, it's brilliant. And the air tag doesn't seem to really uh, affect it that much. We kind of look how it's thick here its thickness as it interferes. It is just the thickness of the AirTag itself. And where they placed it is really quite nice. It's on the secondary middle slot here, so it gets protected and it caches all that's really pressing against it. And so, you know, with the cards you want, you just pull the cards up, you put them back in. Um, but from the AirTag, it's really quite cool. It is designed and made in Colombia. And it's made from a full grain veg tanned Italian leather. And it really smells, well, I'll decide that. Nice, really nice. And the feel, of course, it's like it's already kind of broken in a bit, nice. The magnetic closure is a great touch, but it does require some thoughtfulness on where you put your cards due to the possible demagnetization. I'm gonna show you, we take this out here, this is where the magnet is. There is a receiving magnet there, and of course it's shielded from the back of the cards, 
So even though we have a magnet here, it's facing this direction to receive the magnet facing down. It's uh, a, you know, a placement that works. So with the cards that are here, there is a, uh, a board that is placed in here to provide the rigidity so the wallet just doesn't crumple in your hands. Now the wallet's priced at $89. Not bad for special purpose, but it's not just special purpose. If you get tired of having your uh, air tag in there, the puck that we saw, brown and green, very nicely thought out, I, I, you know, honestly. The one thing I've always not liked about this wallet uh, that I think they could do better is the size of this pull strap head. It's always just kind of flopped around up here. And even if they made it just a half size, I mean, we can grab that, we're capable people and then it wouldn't be so obtrusive. But you know, overall, that's just a small nitpick of mine. And I think that this is a great touch. Now it measures 3.4 by 2.4 by 0.4, and it weighs 55 grams. That's without the air tag. You could lose this uh, air tag over time. Let me show you my concern. So we have this here, any little pressure, and you know, you can start to possibly pop this out. You have to be really aggressive to do it. But if you are, in this alone, and you happen to push it, it'll come out. But if it is in your wallet, like it should be, and your wallet is closed, you have cash, you have cards, it holds it in place and it just will not pop out on its own. So I think this is a great design and good. Just be aware that, don't think this is wrong if you open it up and it can pop out. That will happen because of the flexibility in the leather that you have here against a rigid object. That's fine, I still think it's great. So with that, let's get on to the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 38 out of 50. Love this thing, great concept, and we'll be seeing more of these, just like the tile, just like the, you know, the extra tracking card, those kinds of things. I still like the footprint of this, very small, and you can make it work in a wallet. We'll see you in the next review, bye.